In this video, I'll show you how to use a microphone with an Arduino so you can make your projects react to sound. Let's start by taking a closer look at the microphone. This is called an Electret microphone, and while you can purchase these microphones on their own, so this cylindrical part here, they produce a very small voltage that you cannot easily read with a microcontroller like the Arduino without some sort of amplification. That's why you will usually want to use these with an amplifier board like the one here that the microphone is mounted on. This contains some additional circuitry to amplify the voltage to a level that can easily be read by the Arduino, and then you just need three connections. Voltage supply, ground, and the analog out signal to the Arduino. You will typically need to solder header pins to the amplifier board, which you can then use to put the microphone directly into a breadboard and connect to your Arduino with jumper wires, or if you would like to mount the microphone somewhere else off your breadboard, you can use male-female jumper wires to connect to the header pins with the female end, and then connect the male end to the Arduino or your breadboard. Next, let's talk about what exactly the microphone does. The microphone converts sound waves, which are actually variations in air pressure, to an electrical voltage. We can then graph this voltage over time, which is what I am doing with this tool called an oscilloscope. So on this graph, the x-axis is time and the y-axis is voltage. And I have set the oscilloscope so the graph is scrolling continuously. So you can see that during periods of quiet, when I don't talk, this line is flat. And when I talk, the microphone is picking up the vibrations in the air and converting them to a voltage which shows up as a change in this graph. Let's zoom in on the oscilloscope screen here because it's important to understand how this works if you want to use it with an Arduino. First, I have slowed down the scrolling on the X or time axis so it's a little easier to see, but we need to talk about the Y axis. The microphone is powered from the 3.3 volt supply on the Arduino. The documentation recommends doing that because the 3.3 volt supply is cleaner or less noisy than the 5 volt supply. The microphone has a DC offset, meaning its normal or neutral or baseline or whatever you want to call it value when there is no sound. Again, you can see the line will stop and be flat when I stop talking. That value is not zero. It is halfway between zero and the supply voltage. So if you look carefully at the screen here, you will see this little one. That is pointing at the zero level for channel one on my oscilloscope. And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a dashed yellow line going across the screen up here. That is at 3.3 volts. And I have the oscilloscope automatically measuring the average of channel one or this yellow line. And if I stop talking for a second, we can see that that average is right around 1.56, 1.57 volts, which is about half of 3.3. So again, the DC offset, or the neutral value of the microphone when there is no sound, is halfway between 0 volts and 3.3 volts. That one means when we read this sound into the Arduino with the analog read command, it doesn't just mean that the bigger the number, the louder the sound. The amplitude of this waveform needs to be calculated as the difference between the actual recorded value and that neutral or baseline value. So you see that louder sounds oscillate up and down above and below that neutral value. So you could have a positive or a negative difference depending on how you calculate it and you will then need to take the absolute value of that difference to calculate the loudness of the sound. So again, it's not that zero means no sound and maximum means loud sound. It's the difference from that neutral or baseline value that you need to use to calculate how loud the sound is, which is what I used to control how many LEDs I was lighting up. So we'll see that when we look at the code later in the video. Before we do that, I've zoomed in on the oscilloscope screen here and sped up the x-axis just so you can see the waveform a little more closely. I have also removed the DC offset, so our zero value is now centered. That doesn't mean the actual voltage is zero, that's just how we're displaying it on the oscilloscope screen. So again, you can see that voltage changing as I talk with larger amplitude changes corresponding to louder sounds. But you can also see that if I stop talking, that line is not perfectly flat. There is some baseline level of electrical noise on the oscilloscope, and you might also have some ambient or background noise in the room. So let's see what a few seconds of silence look like when I stop talking. 
So you can see that the line was still fluctuating a little bit, but also notice that I am zoomed in pretty far here. Each grid spacing on the y-axis of this graph is only 100 millivolts. So I'm only seeing changes of a few hundred millivolts around that zero level, which means I'm probably not going to expect to use the full 0 to 3.3 volt swing on the analog input from my Arduino. Some microphones do come with an adjustable gain that will be in the form of a potentiometer that you can adjust on the board using a small screwdriver. This will change that amplification factor or how much change in voltage you get for a given amount of sound. So you might be tempted to just crank the gain all the way up, but you have to be careful because that means you will amplify everything, including any unwanted noise. So some microphones don't have an adjustable gain at all, but if yours does, you may need to play with this to find out what works best in your application. You can see that what I've done here is program the Arduino so it lights up the LEDs based on the amplitude of the detected sound. Let's take a look at the code to see how that works. Now we'll switch over to the computer to take a look at the code. I'm not really going to talk about the part for controlling the LEDs, because controlling LEDs is covered in many of the earlier videos in our Arduino tutorial series, which you can find linked in the description of this one. I will, however, talk about the code to use the microphone. So we are going to declare a pin for the microphone's analog input to the Arduino. We are going to declare a variable that we will read with the analog read function. And then again, as I showed on the oscilloscope screen, we need to, need to know what that baseline value is. It's not going to read zero when there's zero sound. It's going to be centered between the minimum and maximum voltages. Now, normally the analog read function will return a value between zero and 1023, but 1023 represents five volts. We are powering the microphone from 3.3 volts. So we can calculate that half of that is 1.65, which again is pretty close to what we saw on the oscilloscope screen earlier. And if we scale that to the maximum value of 1023, we would expect a baseline value of about 337. So that is the value we are going to use to calculate the amplitude of our sound when we subtract it from the value read by analog read. Then I have some additional code related to controlling the LEDs. You can find this in the description of the video if you want to copy the code. But remember that we're not really expecting to swing all the way between zero and 3.3 volts on the analog input. So I have a guess at what the maximum amplitude I expect to see will be. I can change this number. This is basically just a tune, so all five LEDs light up at your loudest sound. And then I set different thresholds to turn the LEDs on based on that level. You don't really need to do anything related to the microphone in the setup function. This is just setting all of the LED pins as outputs. I do initialize serial communication so I can print out the amplitude. So again, I can use that to kind of figure out how loud my sounds are and use that to change the expected max amplitude value if I want to. And then here in the loop function, I simply have two lines of code, one to read the analog input from the microphone pin, and then one to calculate the amplitude, which again, I am taking the absolute value of the mic reading minus that baseline value. So remember that this difference can be negative because your mic reading can be below that baseline value. So I want to take the absolute value to just see how big the sound is or how loud the sound is. And then I'm going to print out that value to the serial monitor so I can use it for debugging. And then I have a series of if statements that again are controlling the LEDs. So if the amplitude is greater than the maximum threshold, I turn all five LEDs on. Else, if it's only greater than threshold number four, I'm going to turn four of the LEDs on, and so on, all the way down to just turning all of the LEDs off because the sound amplitude is below the first threshold I set. Now, this is a simple program that just uses the instantaneous amplitude from the microphone. There are tons of other things you can do with sound, like sampling over a certain window of time or determining the frequency content of the sound. We are not going to cover those in this video, although we might cover them in future videos. For now, you can check out the video description for links to our other Arduino tutorials and lots of cool science projects you can do with an Arduino. For a library of over a thousand other science projects, visit our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.